What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello, I'm Casey. So as you can see from the title of this video, you kind of already know what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about Togepi and the fact that I sold her. Yes, yes, yes. You heard correctly that I sold Togepi. I kind of thought I would tell you guys like the reasoning why and my thought process with it and also kind of go through her time with me. Let's get right into it. I got Togepi January of 2022. She was my first like horse or pony. She is 14 too, but she was like my first equine animal ever. Like, of course I've ridden before her and all this stuff, but like owning my own horse, like that was her. She was going to be my first horse, but also my project horse. Buying her, I already knew like I eventually was going to sell her. Also, if this matters, like when I bought her, she was six years old. At least that's what the vet told us just because she doesn't have papers and stuff. Fun fact, I hid her from my parents for the first like, I think three or four months before I told them like, hey, I got a horse. Cause I don't, I don't know, maybe because I was like, oh, they're gonna think this is a bad idea and blah, 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 blah. So I just thought like, ah, we're just gonna not tell him for a second. Let her be in my life a little bit and then tell them. But here is the thing, the twist, the ah. Um, I did like the one thing you're not supposed to do and I bought her solely off of videos. Yeah. <laughs> I bought her completely off of videos. Um, I, the goal was to go and see her, but like with like timing and planning and how my weeks were going and like, I don't have a job in the horse industry. Like I work outside of the horse industry. It just wasn't adding up and I could not get over to where she was. She was only like really like five hours away. I think something like that. She was just quite literally on the other side of Virginia, like near the little tail of Virginia. Just like could not get to her. So I just solely went off of videos. Like I had my trainer look at the videos. Nothing in that video, in the videos that we've been sent ever told us like she wasn't a good horse. I even got x-rays done on her legs, um, all of it. And like the owner was super um, communicative with me. Like she would always send videos. Like there was this one video where like it snowed where they were and you could like see her like, if I still have these videos, I'll put, I'll put them up here. But like, you can see her just like running around, like all happy. Like she was a happy little horse. I just thought, you know what, let me, Let's do it. Let's just get the horse. Um, the owner was very uh, motivated to sell because she was moving and she didn't have a place to put her. Um, and so I would, you know, the price was the right price and I was like, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's go for it. Also like not to say that you can't go off of videos. Cause I know a lot of people like go off of videos of like horses in Europe if they can't like get to Europe themselves or whatever. Um, for whatever reason, but I also hear like a lot of things where it's like, yeah, my trainer has gotten plenty of horses from these people. Like they're all very trustworthy, da, da, da. Like just make sure you trust the person that you're um, going off of a video. Very much trust the person, like trust your trainer, trust the person you're receiving the horse from, like make sure like you got good reviews essentially. <laughs> I got her shipped at the barn that I was riding at at the time and she arrived at night. She arrived like I think around 12 or one o'clock and I was there of her arrival. We put her in the stall for the night because uh, where I was boarding her, they only had like electric fencing. And so like it was dark out. So we were just kind of like, let's put her in the stall for the night and then toss her in there in the morning when it's light out and she can kind of see like the perimeter of her paddock field. I don't know, it was pretty large, it was a couple acres. Honestly, I just wanted her to get like accumulated to her space, so I honestly don't think I even hopped on her until like three or four days later. And when I did, she, um, it was like kind of a bitless bridle, but it was essentially like a halter. So I hopped on her with a halter and my trainer like lead roped me around or whatever. And we just walked and we we're just like, okay, she's chill. Um, I don't think we did anything that day. And then I think the next time I, rode her, which was a few days later, we decided like, okay, let's walk without the lead line. Uh, let's walk without the lead line. And then like, let's see where it goes. And we were just like, okay, she's chill. Like we love this. And then it wasn't until we decided like, let's pick up the trot, like, let's see what she can do. And that is when she kind of let us know that she was gated. 
So the owner never mentioned to me that she was gated. <laughs> she said that she was a grade quarter horse which my trainer and I were just like, maybe she's some type of mix because like she's clearly not like a 100% quarter horse or at least in my eyes, I don't see like quarter horse, but I was like, whatever, like close it up. A lot of people mix their quarter horses, right? I feel like quarter horses are like the hound dog of the, the horse world. Like everyone mixes it with thoroughbreds, like quite literally anything. They mix quarter horses with quite literally anything. Not saying that's like a good thing or like you should go ahead and go mix your quarter horse with any breed or anything like that. I'm just saying it, it, it happens. And so her saying that she was a quarter horse in my head, I never like even thought to even ask if she was gated or not. And so, and truthfully, like looking back at it, I don't even know if she like knew what gated was and all that. Like I, she didn't seem like a huge horse person. She just happened to have the horse. I'm not 100% sure her story, but like that's just what, like that's how I took in things. I was like, I don't know if she really knows, but like, like she was still like really sweet and very honest about everything. I just don't think she knew. Going back to the fact that I was eventually going to sell her, the fact that she was my project horse, my idea was to get a pony to be in the children's hunters. We realized she was gated. That, that flew away. The dream flew. Gated horses can't be in the hunter. Not really sure, but I had to move my camera <laughs> a little bit. So sorry for the pause. Was I? So I was a little unmotivated when I found out that she was gated because I was like, ah, this was supposed to be my hunter horse. Like I know nothing about like gated horses. I'm pretty sure this was like the first time I even sat on a gated horse. Like I just didn't know like what to do essentially. I was like, I don't know even the industry that like would prioritize gated horses. Like I just don't know. Like, yes, I think we were kind of still like training cause she was still very green, but you could tell that she already kind of like, she knew her basics essentially. I just played around with her for like, I think two or three months and I would go on these trail rides with her like around the property and like, she was great. I'd ride her bareback. Like I, she was, she was awesome. She was amazing. But this is where Nikki and Chance come around. So in the area, they have a couple of like organized trail rides that happen like mostly in the spring and the fall. And this was my first time going and it's like, hey, we're bringing Chance. We have a whole group of like horses and people who are going to the trail ride. Like, do you want to come with? Like bring Togepi. Togepi and I's first time like outside the property when it came to trail rides. So I was kind of like, we'll see how we do, but like we'd love to go. So we went and everyone loved her. She behaved so well. Like she absolutely loved the trail ride. She loved being around the other horses. Um, actually, I did a whole video. I guess this would, would have been about two years ago, but it's on my channel and it says like overnight trail ride, I think with Nikki. If you wanna go see that video, it is up on my channel. Um, but everyone loved her every like there was a couple people that were just like are you selling her like how much would you take her for or you know or how much would they how much would I sell her for that's what I'm talking about and I just like I was like overwhelmed I was like oh okay so this is the place to be when it comes to like gate horses because there was gated horses everywhere the people who was like interested in her she was just like oh I love her she's so cute like she behaves really well like do you think you would want to bring her over and like make her chances buddy I like sat on that idea for a second because I was just like I mean maybe and at the time chance was the only horse in the pasture where he was at and he most definitely needed a buddy because we know horses they need they need their herd it's like mm, like maybe like we'll see and I was just like that sounds like a really good idea but I like wasn't sure because already it was hard for me to get out to the barn I currently ride out or not currently ride at but at the time rode at because it was an hour away from my house it was an hour away from my job like it's just a trek to get out there so like I only really went two to three times a week and already like for a horse in training I don't think that's enough time to be there and so her moving a different place to an hour out where my trainer is not even there to like have lessons and stuff I was like I don't know how like often I could get out there but then I sat on that idea for a second I was like I don't know like should I and then it was like two or three months later that I was like you know what fine let's go ahead and do it like let's move Togepi and so 
with that being said, the owner of Chance, she was like, okay, let me like fix up the fences a little bit just because I guess to her, they were looking a little raggedy or whatever. She just needed an upgrade um, before Togepi came around. And I think the video of us putting the fence together is also on my channel. I'm not sure how it's titled, but it, it shouldn't be far down there. Fixed up the fence and then we brought Togepi over. And as I expected, I didn't see her as often as I wanted to. Like it went from seeing her four times a month, like every weekend to like two times a month. And the next thing you know, I'm only going once a month because it was just like a lot to get out there and like a lot of gas. And like, if you know my car, my car is a ghost guzzler. It is a renegade. It guzzles gas. So like I was just spending like $200 like weekly on gas just to like get back and forth from work to get to the barn to get to her. Like it was just a lot. And then <laughs> fast forward like a year and a half maybe. Yeah, I can't really remember, but I moved back to Washington DC where I was born and raised. I just, that could be a whole separate video. And honestly, that video will probably be on my vlog channel if that is something you even want a video of, of why I moved back to DC. But I moved back to DC. And so instead of being an hour away, I was a whole three hours away from Togepi. Three hours, three hours and a half. And so, then it just became a whole lot harder once I was like visiting her maybe like once a month and the next thing you know I wasn't visiting her for every like I was doing like a visit every like two months and then it was just like and then it just, it just got longer and longer and longer and then I was just like what am I doing like of course I want to keep Togepi but like it was just weird that like I have this horse that I never see and that I'm just like kind of not that she's a lot of money she really like com Compared to all the other horses I probably could have got, like, she is, like, very low maintenance of a horse. Like, she gets fat off of just looking at grass, so she doesn't need that much grain. I don't know. Like, she, you know, she gets her hoofs done every, like, once every month. Like, she really very low maintenance, but, like, I'm still, like, spending money on her, right? So it's just kind of, like, what am I doing on this, like, with this horse that I'm spending money on, but I, like, never see, right? And so it was just like the idea of her like selling her just came to my mind, but I kept like going back and forth like, ah, I'm a seller. And then I was like, no, I'm not gonna sell her. And then I was like, ah, I should sell her. And then I was like, oh, no, I don't want to. It just went back and forth and good, like for a good year, I was just on this seat of should I sell her or should I not sell her? Eventually was like, you know what? Let's just pull the plug. I'm going to sell her. But, 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 but there was one lady who very clearly let me know that like if I ever decided I want to sell her like most definitely offer Togepi to her first before like going out right and that person who bought her just happens to be the owner of Chance and so Togepi Loki is not going anywhere did I scare ya sorry clickbait kind of not really clickbait but a little bit of clickbait Sorry. So the owner of Chance, she now owns Togepi. So Togepi Loki is not going anywhere. Um, she is really happy where she's at. And I know she's going to be taken well care of because just knowing personally who these people are and how they take care of their horses and everything, like, I was like, you know what? She's happy here. Chance doesn't lose his buddy. Like, the whole nine yards essentially. So that being said, she also let me know that if there is, you know, whenever I want to come down and see her or ride her or anything, like I can, I just got to let them know that I'm coming. That being said, she probably will still be in future videos. I just kind of wanted to update you guys to be like, to let you know that like, Technically, she's no longer, not technically, she really is no longer mine. Like, I don't make the decisions for her anymore or anything like that. So I just wanted to let you guys know, like, um, have you guys in on the loop of things. And just simply that I sold her and she's sold to, she's going to stay with Chance. She'll be in future videos. Um, like, she'll probably be in less videos, but she hopefully will be in some future videos. Uh, that is it for today's video. I really hoped you enjoyed. Um, before I 
completely log off i wanted to let you guys know about my new vlog channel technically the channel is kind of old you'll see like older videos from like the past me um on there but i pretty much am going to start using that as like a vlog channel for everything that is outside of the horses so if you are interested in my life outside of the horses it is casey McAllister vlogs a link will also be in the description below oh, so now i have two channels this one will be the main one and that's my little vlog channel if you like what you see over there make sure you give a subscribe and then link down below will be all of my social media and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more just make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified when my next video is out as well as subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!